five of you are inhabitants of the city of relics in some way or another. Now, we kind of came to terms with the fact that you've all five at a certain point in time been selected to work together. You all have some sort of adventuring background. It doesn't have to be a pure adventurer, but you were just chosen at some point. You five are going to work together. Go deal with it. And you got a first little quest. Uh, there is this type of demon known as a sewer demon, these like grayish creatures. Uh, relatively small, hunched over and stuff, tend to work by themselves, but they can be dangerous in the correct circumstances. So usually less experienced adventurers are asked to clear them out. Five of you were asked to clear them out and successfully did so. We're not going to play through that because probably be a little boring. Five on one, it's not that interesting. However... <laughs> <laughs> However, as the five of you kind of rise from the sewers, this would be the sewers of the first level, like the bottom level of relics, you all walk out up into the open street, kind of the body and head of this creature with you, so you can hand it into the proper authorities on the third level. The camera kind of zooms in if you would like to take the movie version of this and kind of starts looking at the five of you. So my first question is going to be, who's carrying the body? I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's the strongest, I suppose. <laughs> not me. All right, who doesn't have a tenant strength? <laughs> I how, don't. Big, how, how big is the body? Is it large or is I it? A it's a relatively small creature, <laughs> so it's not extremely huge. I know uh. my mage hand will carry it. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> you just see this like mage hand with like the head of a demon. Sure. Well, walking behind the mage head. Um, well, you're up first then. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what do the people see? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you see Jedediah, he's a rather small male, about a 1 meter 60 or 5 feet 3. He's a 45, 50-ish, the first gray hair, uh, starting to get through the brown hairs. Uh, he's not wearing any armor to speak of, just his uh, long wizard robes, and you can see a small knife and a sling around his waist. And he's holding the wizard, uh, the sewer rat as far away from him as he can. He was a farmer by trade, so he spent a lot of time on the field. So he has slightly bronze, bronze skin and is not strong, but rather sinewy, if I speak that out correctly, which I won't. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, what Jedediah looking like. All right. So you're all walking there with this like demonic head inside of a bluish mage hand <laughs> floating in front of Jed. Um, so as the five of you are walking through <laughs> the uh, bottom level of relics, um, one thing that you always have to be kind of careful for is there is a certain amount of crime around the city because people know that any day could technically be their last, so why the hell would they work for their shit if they can do it otherwise? So, question number two. Who's looking around for this kind of stuff? I suppose that would be me. I'm always looking around everywhere. All right. So, Liam, what do they see... When they look at your character, uh, they see a a wood elf, roughly about six foot three, six foot four, about shoulder length, dark blue hair, long black coat, almost touching the ground, um, like sort of neonish purple eyes, um, very elaborate long bow, sort of look, sort of human-ish design, but with some elvish. Uh, customization to the ends and along the bow. Um, just a pretty much a standard pair of hide leggings, thin but sturdy, and uh, like leather straps woven together underneath the coat, 
to form her main armor, her leather armor. Uh, and sort of a bit of a like a, a scar just along her chin, along her neck like that, going along like that, and a very distinct scowl as she's looking around. Because she's not she's not really a people person. All right, cool. So give me a perception check. First roll of the day. Also, just realized I never cleared the chat. Thanks yes. for that, Jed. <laughs> Hey, I told you, clear chat. <laughs> uh, I remember how I do that. Uh, perception. Thirteen. Thirteen. You look around a little bit and, you know, making sure that no one tries to do anything to you. Uh, but at a certain point in time, you do see, like, this, like, group of two kids that's, like, kind of looking in your direction. And then seems to realize that there's five of you. There's two of them. And you guys have weapons, and they do not. So they kind of, like, just walk off to the other side. <laughs> Ever so slightly fearful of this angry woman that's looking back at them. Regardless, as you keep walking, um, you know you have to hand in this head of this demon uh, at the third level uh, to the guard's house. To one of the guard houses there. Um, because this is, you know, work for the city. Um, so, question is, who's leading you towards these houses? That would probably be me, I think. I don't know, unless that someone else wants to. It's fine by me. Go. You commit it. Go for it. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, well, the first thing that you just see is someone very arrogantly walking forward, even though he doesn't really look like much by himself uh he's about one meter 75 or however that much is in <laughs> i have words. this written somewhere but i five, don't know where five foot eight i don't know something like that eight, yeah five, ten, um, in that range he's kind of skimpy looking so it's kind of weird why he would be walking up front but uh he's just carrying a shield he has a very pristine looking warhammer that looks like it's literally never been used before onto his back more as a trophy of, oh, I can use this more than anything. Um, he has slightly upstanding white hair, a uh, very smug look on his face, very nice uh, metal armor with uh, blue, like cobalt-ish robes, um, like flowing over them, or like almost like a cloak that's also behind him. And just, and just constantly like fiddling with his fingers as his like lightning crackling, like constantly around it as if he can't really keep himself busy and he's just looking around mostly just smirking at people like hey i did this you know this thing it was all me no worries and uh i confidently walk towards the place that i'm supposed to go all right easy enough to be fair i mean the city isn't that hard to figure out as long as you've been here for a little bit so with that in mind you walk for a little bit at which point you would at some point reach kind of the stairs up to the second level of uh relics this is kind of the more defensible level of the city pretty much it's been built in such a way that you can always shoot down from the second level onto the first level if something were to happen there since the first level itself has more of the the slums you could say of the city meaning it's a little less protected you know they're the scapegoats that we sacrifice if something happens um, don't tell them that, that might not go over well. But as you're kind of walking up to the stairs, who's the person that would be telling the guards what's going to go on or why you're walking through? I think that would probably be Shiloh in that, uh, in that case. So, um, uh, to describe Shiloh, she's uh, a very tall human woman, mm -hmm. like six feet tall. Um, and she is decked out in gleaming silver armor, which is inlaid with uh, um, intricate blue, like almost enameled patterns. Uh, on her hip, she carries a very large uh, two-handed sword, which is so big that she actually has to keep her hand on the pommel to keep the tip from dragging in the ground. And on her back, she carries a halberd, which has the banner of her uh, fam with her family crest wrapped around it. 
Um, she's uh, she's got like blonde, pretty tall hair, uh, and like from a mile away, you can tell that she is a paladin. All right. Now guards have in more than enough cases seen adventurers walk through, so again, this isn't really the biggest issue to be able to pass into the second level. <clears throat> But, you know, it does help that you have a paladin with you who has a little bit of a, how should I say this, reliable looking face, I guess, something like that. I don't know, that's up to you to decide. Um, anyway, as you walk through, you now are in the second level. As I said, second level, there's a lot of guards walking around here, some of them looking at you, uh, some of them just, you know trying to figure out why the hell you people are here, then seeing this, like, mage hand with a demon head in it kind of floating around, then, ah, adventurous. Okay, yeah, sure. Although there is a little bit of attention for the creepily bluish mage hand. So, <clears throat> as you're walking through the second level, I think there's one more person. So, who is the last character of our merry band of adventurers? That would be me. That's uh, Elvakri. And she is a female Kalashtar with uh, gray hair. Um, she wears uh, shiny silver armor with uh, armored heels. And um, she wears uh, an old necklace on her, on her neck with a small figurine of a ballerina. And yeah, that's... Uh, my character. 